to each and every single viewer joining us tonight. I am Uspe Mieni. And I am Naledi Zungu. Welcome to the international online service at the comfort of your own home. Amen. We are going to be with the highly esteemed man of God, J. Israel. Truly, truly, each and every night has been a real encounter. I feel renewed and I feel the Holy Spirit just doing something tremendous in my life. And I believe you're not the only one. I believe thousands and thousands of people's lives have been impacted over this period. And I just want to urge you to share this live broadcast as we continue along tonight. Amen. But this is just the beginning. It's not the end of it. We are going to go in a place of worship as the word of the Lord says, worship him in spirit and in truth so open up your heart and let the Holy Spirit do what he can only do amen Wow uh, it is a it is a beautiful evening and um, I welcome you all tonight in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ I don't know wherever you might be joining us from tonight, but I pray that as we are all here, ready to partake of the Word of God, I don't know where you might be joining in from, just kindly share the broadcast. Share the broadcast, share the broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you, we give you praise and honor. Keep on sharing the broadcast, keep on sharing the broadcast. Share the broadcast, share the broadcast, share the broadcast. Share the broadcast share the broadcast wherever you are joining in from i welcome you all to this wonderful broadcast in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ kindly let me know where you are joining in from so that we may all get ready and prepare for an outpouring of the holy spirit an outpouring of the holy ghost in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ i am so excited for i know that tonight god has got a word for you and God is going to use me to deliver a message that is going to bring a transformation to your life in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know that tonight, uh, as you are joining us from wherever you are joining in from, you are getting ready for an outpouring of the Holy Spirit, an outpouring of the Holy Ghost. I want you to get ready wherever you are. Open your spirit and open your heart. Open your spirit, just open up your heart. Let God do what only He can do in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and we give you honor. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Give me the keyboard, give me the keyboard in my earphones, give me the keyboard in the instruments, everything. Keep on sharing wherever you are joining in from. Keep on sharing, keep on sharing, keep on sharing, keep on sharing. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you praise. I see Bosisi uh, Wekibe, who has just joined in. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord touch you wherever you are in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that as you're joining in, I see somebody has just joined in, has just joined in from Houston, Texas. May the Lord bless you, may the Lord touch you, and may the Lord do a new thing in your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep on sharing, keep on sharing. Don't stop, keep on sharing, keep on sharing the broadcast in the mighty name of Jesus. Keep on sharing the broadcast in Jesus' mighty name. Tonight is your night, and tonight is your night of encounter in Jesus' mighty name. I pray that tonight God will meet you at the point of your needs in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that tonight God will touch your life and God will change your story in Jesus' mighty name. He's an awesome God and he's a mighty God. I don't know what is it that you've been uh, uh, praying about, but I'm here to tell you and I'm here to let you know that tonight is your night of encounter and tonight is your night where God is going to touch your life and change your story in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I just want to begin to pray for somebody who's joining in tonight. I just want to begin to pray for somebody who's tuning in tonight. I don't know where you are tuning in from, but I just want to pray for you tonight that may God touch you wherever you are. May God do a new thing in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord touch your life. May the Lord do something new, something amazing in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I'm so, so filled with uh, 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 so much energy, uh, spiritual energy, 
that uh, I don't know how I'm going to deliver this message that I have to deliver tonight for I believe this is one of the heaviest messages that God has ever laid on my heart for me to deliver. This is one of the heaviest messages ever that God has ever laid on my heart for me to come and deliver for the Lord has been speaking to me about a lot of things, a lot of different things. And the Lord has been talking to me again and again and again and again. And I know that wherever you are, thank you Holy Spirit of God. There is a fresh word. There is a fresh word from God. A fresh word from God. A fresh word from God. That God is going to release upon your life. And your life will never ever be the same again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I want you to just begin to pray with me tonight as we are getting started. I just want you to begin to pray with me tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Just begin to pray with me wherever you are so that we may get down to this word. This is one of the heaviest messages that God has ever laid on my spirit for me to come and deliver. But I just want you to just pray with me wherever you are so that God can give me the utterance, the eloquence in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you honor. We honor you, Lord. We honor you, Lord. Only you, only you are God. Only you are God. Only you are God. Only you deserve the praise. Only you deserve the honor. Only you deserve all the glory, Lord. And we are here tonight to say, take all the glory. Take all the glory, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Take all the glory, Lord. Take all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be an outpouring of the Holy Ghost tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let there be an outpouring of the Spirit of the living God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, amen and amen. I just want us to quickly uh, jump into the scriptures as I do not want to waste so much time tonight. I just want to... Uh, 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 jump straight to the word of God and I want us all together wherever you are wherever you're joining in from let us jump straight to the word of God so that we may hear what God has in store for us tonight in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Holy Spirit of God thank you Father thank you Jesus just take out your Bible wherever you are so that we may quickly get straight to the word of the living God and hear what God has in store for us in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah I want us to go straight to the book of Matthew chapter number 9 and I want us to go to verse number 7. Matthew chapter 9 and I want us to jump straight to verse number 7 so that we may hear what God has in store for us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Matthew chapter 9 and we are going to read from verse number 7 in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Just uh, uh, read for me Matthew 9 verse number 7. Let's go. Verse number 7. Yeah. And he arose and departed to his house. And he arose and departed to his house. And but when the multitude saw it, but when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God. They marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Which had given such power unto men. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, and as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew. He saw a man by the name of Matthew sitting at the receipt of custom. Sitting at the receipt of custom. And he saith unto him, Follow me. And he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And he arose and he followed him. And it came to pass as Jesus sat, sat at meat in the house. And it came to pass as Jesus sat at meat in the house. Behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him. Behold, many publicans and sinners came to sit down together with him. And his disciples. And his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, and when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto his disciples, they said unto his disciples, let's go. Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? Why eateth your master with publicans together with sinners? But when Jesus heard that, but when Jesus heard that word, he said unto them, he said unto them, let's go. They that behold need not a physician. They that behold need not a physician, but they that are sick. But they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call the righteous. But for I have not come to call the righteous, but I have come for the sinners. 
Then came to him the disciples of mm. John. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast? Saying, off? Why do ye and the Pharisees continue? Why do we and the Pharisees fast oft, mm. but thy disciples fast not? Let's go. And Jesus said unto them, uh -huh. Can can the children of the bride chamber mourn mm. as long as the bridegroom is with them? Let's go. But but the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them. Jesus. And then shall they fast. Mm. No man putteth a piece of cloth of new cloth mm. unto an old garment. Come on. For that which is put in to fill it, mm. fill it up, taketh from those from the garment, mm. and the rent is made worse. Jesus. Neither do men put new wine in old bottles. Neither do men put new wine in old bottles. Continue. Else the bottles break or else the bottles will break and the wine runneth out and the wine runneth out and the bottles perish mm. thank you jesus thank you holy spirit of god thank you father we give you praise and we give you honor tonight give me matthew chapter 23 and let's go together to verse number 13 if you have it say i have it and begin to read verse 18 Verse 18. But war unto you. But war unto you. Scribes and Pharisees. Scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Mm. War unto you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites. For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven. For you shut men. up the kingdom of heaven against men. Against men. For ye for ye neither go in yourselves. For ye neither go in yourselves. Neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Neither suffer ye them that entereth. Come on. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Hypocrites. Hypocrites. For you devour widows' houses. Mm. Come on. And for a pretense make Thank long Thank you, prayer. Jesus. Thank you, Father. Therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Come on. Verse 15. Okay. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees. Mm, mm, Hypocrites. Mm, 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 for ye mm. compass sea and land mm. to make one proselyte. Jesus. And when he is made, ye make him twofold more than the child of hell in Jesus name thank you thank you so much thank you so much for the reading of the word in the mighty name of Jesus I have a word that I want to quickly take you through tonight this is one of the heaviest messages that I've ever had to deliver in a time uh, ever since I began ministry but I believe that by the special grace of God the Lord is going to help me and the Lord is going to be my assistant so that I may deliver the message with all eloquence of speech, with accuracy, just as the Lord has been delivering this message into me, into my life over these uh, uh, past few hours of today. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. So this is uh, where I'm going to begin and this is where I'm going to start. We just opened the scripture right there in the book of Matthew chapter 7. And the Bible makes it a point in the scriptures that uh, there is something about new wine. And the Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wineskin. When the Bible is talking about new wine and uh, 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 old wineskin, there are some few things that I want to begin to talk about tonight by the special grace of the Most High God. I don't know wherever you are joining in from, but kindly keep on sharing the broadcast. I welcome all our YouTube uh, viewers and all our Facebook viewers in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So here we have a scripture and the Bible makes it very clear that uh, you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin over this past uh, few hours of today there is something that has been cooking up in my spirit i remember uh, during the day for the very first time probably for the second time i decided to go out uh, uh, ever since the lockdown began and everything i decided just to go out get into the city get into town and just uh, look for one or two things that we're looking for together with my team and uh, i remember that as i was walking in town i was feeling something that i was feeling inside of me something felt so heavy in my spirit and something felt so heavy right on my body for some for some moment i thought maybe i'm not feeling well for some moment i thought maybe there is something that is going on with me that is not fine we went around together with the team and as we went around we did what we did and we finished everything then we drove back to the house when we drove back to the house i remember i got to the house and i just took something uh, just something i nibbled on something and then i went straight to my bedroom immediately when i got into my bedroom i laid flat on my bed it, it did not even take me a few minutes i fell asleep 
I fell asleep. This was uh, today, just some few hours ago, probably around about six, uh, around about six or somewhere there, six p.m. our time. Now, as I fell asleep on my bed, the Lord took me in a vision, and the Lord took me in this vision. In this vision, what I kept on hearing was that prepare, 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 prepare. I kept on hearing this voice. I kept on hearing this voice that kept on speaking and speaking to me and saying, prepare, 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 prepare. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. Prepare, prepare. This surprised me a lot and this actually uh, 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 surprised me because I was wondering what is it that is happening because just a few moments ago, I was feeling like I'm not feeling fine. Something is heavy on me. Something is heavy in my spirit. Something is heavy on my body. I kept on hearing this voice and the voice kept on saying, prepare, 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 prepare. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. And then eventually I woke up. As I woke up, I woke up with so much energy. I woke up with so much energy that I even jumped into, into the shower with a lot of energy and feeling fine and everything. Now, when I began to try to understand and try to digest what is it that the Lord is trying to speak to me? What is it that the Lord is trying to communicate to me about? I began to realize that there are a few things, there are a few things that the Lord wants to put into place in our time. For God is a God of generations. God is a generational God. That is why whenever uh, 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 we pray, whenever we, uh, 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 if you go through the scriptures, whenever they were praying and whenever they were uh, uh, having historic conversations, you begin to realize that they used to say the God of Abraham, the God of Jacob, and the God of Isaac. For God is a God of generation. There is an Abrahamic generation that came and it passed. And then there came a different generation, the Isaac kind of generation, and it passed. And then there came an, a, a Jacob kind of generation, and it also passed. There came a Joseph generation, and it passed. You begin to realize that from time to time, God is a generational God, and God is a God God works by generations. The Lord began to speak to me as I was preparing and coming down for this service. The Lord began to speak to me and he said to me, go and tell my people tonight that the time is running out. The time is running out. There are different things that I'm going to mention tonight that I know that a lot of people are not going to like. A lot of people are not going to, uh, this is not going to sit well with a lot of people. But God gave me a word for the country of Namibia. God gave me a word for the country of Nigeria. God gave me a word for the, uh, 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 for the country of Zimbabwe. God gave me a word for the country of Ghana. For the Lord said to me, go and tell my people that time to play games has come to an end. For it is time for a revival. It is time. It is time for the Lord. It is time for the movement of the Holy Spirit. It is time for the manifestation of the sons and daughters of God. It is time for the manifestation and the movement of the Holy Ghost. Go and tell my people. Go and tell my people that time is running out. Time is running out. As you are busy, as you are busy uh, making personal prayers before the Lord, time is running out uh, and we are running out of time. There is something that is happening in the atmosphere. There is a change of generations that is taking place right now. There is a generational change that is happening in the atmosphere. There is a generational shift that is happening in the spirit. There is a generational shift that is taking place right now. The Lord Lord opened my eyes and I began to see the country of Namibia and the Lord said to me tell all the Namibians I know that I'm speaking this because uh, uh, there has been a lot of people who've been following our ministry from Namibia and uh, that is why uh, God has been talking to me about the country of Namibia the Lord said to me, go and tell all the people of Namibia, go and tell them and say, there is a movement of the Holy Ghost that is coming to Namibia. There is a movement of the Spirit of God that is coming to the country of Namibia. There is a manifestation, there is a manifestation of the power of God that is coming to the nation of Namibia. The Lord said, those that I have sent, those that I have sent in their own generation, and I gave them an assignment to come and 
fulfill in their time and in their season and also in their generation. They have failed. They have failed to accomplish my mission. They have failed to accomplish my mission for I am raising a new generation. The Lord was speaking to me about the rising of a new generation. There is a new generation that is rising. A new generation that is rising in the nation of Namibia. A new generation that is rising in the nation of Namibia. If you are tuning in from Namibia right now, I want you to take all your Namibian friends and I want you to share this video. Let all the Namibians hear what the Lord is saying to the country of Namibia. The Lord said those that were sent in their generation and in their time, they have failed to accomplish the mission of God. There is just a few servants of God who are still standing on the truth of the word, who are still standing on the truth of God. And the Lord said to me, tell Namibians that 99% of all those who are operating in signs and wonders in the country of Namibia, they are not from God. The Lord said, tell Namibians that almost 99% of the prophets in the country of Namibia, they are not from me. Some were sent by God, but along the way, they diverted the calling of God. They diverted the message of God and they started to personalize the thing of the gospel. They began to personalize the things of God. And the Lord said, go and tell Namibians that there is a new generation that is rising. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is a new generation that is rising. For those that have been sent by God, especially those who are functioning in the supernatural, those who are functioning in the prophetic ministry, those who are functioning in the in the in the in the, in the miracle signs and wonders, the Lord said, I do not recognize them. And the Lord, I began to ask the Lord, and I said, Lord, what are you saying? And the Lord said, Just a few, a few weeks ago, just a few weeks ago, or rather a few days ago, or something like that, there is a man of God who was arrested in the country of Namibia, and as the men of God was arrested in the country of Namibia this is a prophet and the Lord said to me I'm going to use this one as an example of what I am about to do in the nation of Namibia I'm going to use this prophet I'm going to use this one as an example of what I'm about to do in the nation of Namibia there is an exposure that is coming to Namibia there is a new generation that is rising a new generation that is going to move in power a new generation that is not going to compromise the things of the Lord I began to ask the Lord and I said, Lord, what are you saying? And the Lord said to me, I do not recognize this man. This man is not called by me. This man is not from me. I began to ask the Lord, Lord, what are you saying? And the Lord said, I am raising prostitutes. I am raising thieves. I'm, I'm raising murderers for those who are called for a specific time like this. They have all failed to accomplish the assignment. I'm raising murderers. I'm raising prostitutes. I'm raising those where the power of God is not expected to come from. Those are the ones that I'm raising. The Lord began to speak to me about the country of Nigeria. And the Lord said in the country of Nigeria there has been a lot of merchandising of the gospel. There has been a, a lot of merchandising of the word of God. There is a shift of generations that is coming to the country of, of Nigeria. Oh my God. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. There is a shift of generations that is coming to the country of, Nami of, of, of Nigeria. There is a shift of generations. There is a generational shift. There is a generational shift that is coming to the country of Nigeria. There is a generational shift. The Lord said, I must tell all Nigerians and I must speak to the country of Nigeria that the bait and stick is about to be passed on to the next generation. There is a generation that is rising in the country of Ni Nigeria. A generation that is not going to compromise the things of the Lord. A generation that is going to speak and that is going to breathe fire. A generation that is going to turn hearts. The, a generation that is going to turn hearts, all hearts of men. That is going to turn all hearts to God. That is going to turn all lives to the Lord. A generation that is not going to compromise. The Lord said I must talk to Nigeria and I must say that something is happening in the country of Nigeria. There is a generational shift. There is a generational shift that is coming to Nigeria. The Holy Spirit has been poured to the country of Nigeria. There are those, there are those, they are not known as yet. Nobody knows about them as yet. Nobody knows about them as yet. They are there in the country of Nigeria. They are not on social media. They are not on any television platform. They are not on any platform that is known by man. But the Lord said, I must tell Nigerians that the Lord is raising a generation that is not going to bow down to the God of Mammon. That is not going to bow down to Jezebelic power. 
powers that is not going to bow down. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. It is time for a revival. It is time. It is time for a movement of God. It is time for a revival. A revival is coming to Africa. God is calling his church back to himself. For he kept on speaking to me when I was sleeping today. Just a few hours ago, he kept on saying these words. Prepare, prepare. We are running out of time. Prepare, prepare, prepare. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. Prepare, prepare. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. There is something that is happening in the atmosphere. There is something that is happening in the atmosphere. The Bible says you cannot put new wine in an old wine skin. There is a transformation that is taking place. There is new wine that is about to be poured to some new wine skins who are tuning in tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord said, speak to the nation of Nigeria and tell them that enough is enough. The Lord has heard your prayers. The Lord has heard your prayers about revival. For I see a lot of people crying in the country of Nigeria and crying in the hands of false prophets, crying in the hands of false teachers, crying in the hands of servants of God who are not called by God but who are called. We have decided to call themselves into ministry. Servants who have come into ministry not because they want to serve souls but because they are preaching for their stomachs to be filled. The Lord said I have heard your prayers. Nigeria I have heard your prayers. Nigeria I have heard your cry. Nigeria thus says the Lord. I have heard your prayers. I've heard your prayers. There is a rising of a new generation in Nigeria. A new generation of power. A new generation of authority. A new generation that will not require a building for their impact to be felt. A new generation that will not require any big platform for their impact to be failed. Oh my God. For they will be breathing fire and they will be winning souls to the kingdom of God. There is a rising that is coming. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. The Lord said speak to South Africa. The Lord said speak to South Africa. And I said Lord what should I say? And the Lord said tell South Africa that South Africa I've heard your prayers. I've heard your prayers. South Africa there is something that is happening in the year 2020. There is a paradigm shift that is taking place. There is a movement that is coming to South Africa. A movement of young, bold servants of God who are going to declare the power and the mysteries of God without compromise, without fear, without looking face, without buying face. There is a new generation that is rising. I know that as you are watching me right now, you are one of those that God is raising in our time. I went to the nation of Kenya. But before I go to Kenya, the Lord said, South Africa, prepare, prepare, prepare for there is something that is coming your way. South Africa, prepare, prepare. We are running out of time. We are running out of time. It is time for soul winning. It is time for winning souls. Time for playing on the altar has come to an end. Time for playing on the altar has come to an end. Time for playing with the people of God has come to an end. Time for playing with souls has come to an end. There is an exposure that is coming to the body of Christ in South Africa. Those who are not of God God. There is a separation of chaff. God is separating chaff and wheat. There is a separation that is taking place in this year 2020. There is a separation that is taking place by the time we get to the year 2021. There is a new movement that is coming to the nation of South Africa. A movement of the word of God. A movement of soul winners. A movement of those young lions who will stand without fear. Who will stand without compromise. Who will stand without buying face. Who will stand without looking at who is watching who will not compromise the word of God who will not compromise the things of the Lord they will speak without fear they will speak without fear for the Lord says I've blessed inside of them a heart like of a lion for they will roar they will roar they will roar and souls will come to Christ and nations will know that I am the Lord that says the spirit of the living God I went to the nation of Kenya and the Lord said release this word to the nation of Kenya. Enough is enough in the nation of Kenya. For Kenya has been 
in the hands of false prophets, in the hands of false teachers, in the hands of false pastors for a very long time. And the Lord said, I'm bringing an end to everything. And there is a writing that is appearing on the wall. And the writing says, many, many taken over sin. There is a writing that I'm seeing on the wall in the nation of Kenya. Many, many taken over sin. Your kingdom has come to an end. Your reign has come to an end. There are those who are claiming to be called by God. Those who are claiming that they are coming from the Lord, but the Lord does not recognize them. In the nation of Kenya, there is exposure that is coming. Even in this year 2020, as we are entering the year 2021, there is an exposure that is coming to the nation of Kenya. I hear the Lord say, tell the people of Kenya that all those you think are the mighty prophets of Kenya, they are not of God. They are not called by God. All those who are boasting with the power of God and all those who boast that they carry the supernatural power from above, tell the nation of Kenya that I have not assigned them. I have not called them. They have called themselves. They are operating by other powers. The Lord said, tell the nation of Kenya. There is a prophet in the nation of Kenya. There is a prophet in the nation of Kenya. He's been in existence for a very long time. And the Lord says, your reign, your reign is coming to an end. Many and men have taken off a scene. Your reign is coming to an end. Something is happening in the nation of Kenya. If you're watching from Kenya, begin to share the broadcast. Let the word of God, let the word from above, that says the spirit of the living God, that Kenya belongs to the Lord, that Kenya belongs to God, Kenya belongs to Jesus, Kenya belongs to the Lord, Kenya there is a movement that is coming. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Father. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus. Kenya, there is a movement that is coming. That says the spirit of the living God. Do not be shaken by the signs and wonders. Do not be shaken by the miracles. For all these miracles, they are not being performed in the name of Jesus. They are not being performed from a source of God, from a source of Christ. All these miracles are being performed so that somebody can, 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 can have people who follow him personally. All these miracles are not being performed so that souls can be one to the Lord. Tell the nation of Kenya, there is a mighty prophet in the nation of Kenya. There is a prophet who calls himself a mighty prophet. That says the Lord. He is not from me. I do not recognize him. That says the spirit of the living God. I have not called this man. I do not recognize him. The Lord said, tell the Kenyans, tell the people in the nation of Kenya that there is an exposure that is coming to Kenya. There is a paradigm shift coming to the land of Kenya. The Lord is bringing a shift. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord is bringing a shift to Kenya. Kenya, something is happening in your land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Something is happening in the land. In the land of Kenya. Zambia, you are not forgotten by God. Zambia, you are not forgotten by God. Lord, who am I? For I do not speak uh, in my own will. But I believe, I believe that whatever word I'm releasing on this altar tonight, I'm releasing this word because you are the one who's insp inspiring this word to be released on this altar. It is time for nations to be set free. It is time for Africa to be set free. Africa has suffered for a very long time. Africa has suffered in the hands of religion. It is time for Africa to be delivered. Africa has suffered in the hands of religion. Africa shall be set free and Africa shall be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That says the Spirit of the Lord that Zambia, you belong to God. Zambia, you belong to the Lord. Zambia, you belong to the Lord. The nation of Zambia belongs to Jesus. There is a rising of a new generation. A new generation that is rising in the African continent. A new generation that is rising in the African continent. A new generation that is rising in Africa. That is rising to break the yoke of re religion. That is rising to break the yoke of religion. The yoke of religion is being broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Mm. Oh, 
The Lord said, one, my people. The Lord said, one, my people. The Lord said, one, my people. That on that day, a lot of you are going to be shocked. A lot of you are going to be surprised. A lot of you will not know what happened. A lot of you are going to be shocked when you are standing at the heaven entry thinking that there are people you are going to see there and you will not find them there. Seek the Lord. Seek the Lord as he is still available. Come to Jesus as he is still available. Most of you will be shocked that all the people you look up to on TV, on big platforms, uh, on television networks and everywhere will be shocked on that day when you are standing on the, on the heaven gate only to realize, thank you Jesus, only to realize that those you thought you were going to find there won't be there. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. There is a new generation that is rising. A generation that will not compromise. A generation that will not compromise the things of God. A generation that will bring an end to the merchandising of the gospel. A generation that will bring an end. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Father. I believe that I've delivered a word just as the Lord wanted me to deliver it. Just as God wanted me to deliver it without alterations, without taking anything out, and without adding or separating. Father, I thank you. I give you praise and I give you honor in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to talk about something right now. I want to talk about something right now. I want to talk about something right now and right here. There is something that I want to talk about and I believe that wherever you are and wherever you are joining in from, the Lord will definitely touch your life and your life will never be the same again in the mighty name of Jesus. Something has been happening in Africa. Over the past few days, we woke up to some terrible news that a young lady who was pregnant, pregnant for about eight months, pregnant or seven months or so, pregnant was found hanging on a tree and as this young lady was found hanging on a tree it was uh, discovered that uh, it was the boyfriend who actually hanged the young girl on a tree in Nigeria there is something that happened again there's a young lady again who was murdered and she was pregnant let me just take you back a little bit last year around this time what is happening right now in South Africa was happening again last year around this time. And I remember I went on our platforms and I began to speak. And I said that it is time for the church to begin to address such things. And I began to say that none of our African pastors and prophets will be able to address such things. None of our African bishops, African reverends and apostles will be able to ad address all this gender-based violence that is happening in the nation of South Africa simply because some of them are also perpetrators of such things. Some of them are also people who are doing such things like this. But today, I want to put it on record on this platform, wherever you're joining in from, I want us to come together. I want us to come together as Africans. I want us to come together as nations and put our hands together and begin to pray to the Lord. The Bible says... If you go on your knees and you pray, you seek the face of the Lord. I, the Lord, will hear your prayers from heaven and I will heal your land. There is a healing that is required for the nation of Africa, for the continent of Africa. There is healing that is required in the nation of Nigeria, in the nation of South Africa. All these ritual killings that are happening in South Africa, they must come to an end in the name of Jesus. All these killings of women that are happening in the, in the, in the nation of uh, South Africa, they are abnormal. They are not from God. They need to be addressed spiritually, both physically they need to be addressed. I believe it is time that for the church to begin to rise, other than 
preaching more and emphasizing uh, uh, on prosperity and emphasizing more on certain things uh, that do not glorify the name of Jesus and emphasizing more on fundraising and other things. I believe it is time to teach the boy child how to respect a woman and how to respect and how to take care of a woman. All this gender-based violence that is taking place in Africa, that is taking place in South Africa particularly, it must come to an end in the name of Jesus. It must come to an end in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. It must definitely come to an end in Jesus' mighty name. Enough is enough. Enough of killing of women in Africa. Enough of the killing of women in South Africa. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. How much blood are you going to swallow? Enough is enough. How much rituals? How many rituals are you going to perform? Are you, how many things are going to happen? Oh my God. The South African women are living in fear. The South African women and the African women are living in fear simply because they do not know when is it going to happen to them. It is time for the church to arise. It is time for the church to rise and begin to address such things. We say no to gender-based violence. We say no to gender-based violence. We say no to the killing of women. We say no to the abuse of women in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No matter what a woman can do, you must never raise your finger on a woman. It is not permitted. It is not allowed. A man is supposed to be a protector of women, not an abuser of women. A man, a real man is supposed to be a protector of women. Only a coward, only cowards will go and, and take out all their strength and all their power on women. If you think you've got enough power and if you think you are a man and you've got enough strength and you've got enough power, go and face other men. It is very sad. It is very sad what is happening in Africa, Nigeria it happened, in South Africa it happened and I declare tonight in the mighty name of Jesus that it must come to an end. It must come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough of the abuse of women. Enough of the killing of women in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray as I'm beginning to pray. I want you to join me wherever you are as you are right there in the comfort of your home. I want you to go on your comment box, go on the comment section and begin to type right now that enough of gender-based violence in Africa, enough of the killing of women in South Africa, enough of the killing of women in Africa in the mighty name of Jesus, begin to type it in the comment section in the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is enough in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray for Africa. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Africa belongs to God. It is time. It is time for the African woman to be protected in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for all the African women. We pray against the killings of women in Africa in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare and we decree an end to all this gender-based violence in the mighty name of Jesus. It must come to an end. It must come to an end. Any man who raises his finger on a woman is a coward. Any man who raises his, his fist on a woman is a coward. Any man who raises his hand to slap a woman is a coward. Africa needs to know and Africa needs to understand that a man is a protector. A man is a shield of a woman, not an abuser of a woman. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cover all the African women in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We cover all the African people in Jesus' mighty name. I intercede and I begin to pray for all the African continents that we mentioned on this platform tonight. Wherever you are, the Lord is touching you. The Lord is bringing a revival in your spirit, a revival in your nation, in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough is enough in Africa. There is a rising of a new generation. For God is a generational God. It is happening and it is coming now. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we thank you and we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus. As I've prayed for 
as I prayed and we have prayed together tonight, I don't know where you are joining in from, wherever you are joining in from, may the Lord touch you, may the Lord bless you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's meet again on Sunday for yet another powerful broadcast again. I believe that the word that God has given to me to deliver on this platform tonight, I've delivered the word. Let us meet again on Sunday for yet our, our international uh, uh, online Sunday service. Tell a friend to tell a friend, take a friend to take a friend. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. My name is J. Israel Senior. You can call me J.I.S. From myself and the whole team, I say good night.